something just got a bite in then. Here's another useful tip for you. If something does land on you and bite you, always wipe, never smack. When you wipe it like that, yeah, so it bit me there and I, I sort of brushed it off like that, um, you knock it off. When you slap it like that, if it's bitten you, bear in mind that the way they bite you is they don't, they don't bite like with teeth like we would. They basically pierce your skin with what's like a tiny hypodermic needle. So they pierce that through and they start drinking your blood through it. So if that's in you and you go like that, you're basically taking the chance of injecting whatever's inside it into you. So yeah, little uh, little extra bonus there. Something bites, wipe. Try not to slap it because you're just injecting yourself with it. Good morning, welcome to the channel. I'm in uh, Offmore Woods, one of my sort of local dog walking areas at the foot of the Clent Hills. It's nice to be home, I've been working away. Um, I went to the Netherlands and because of obviously COVID restrictions, it wasn't, couldn't fly in and out, so I had to stay there for, uh, for a month and then obviously isolating as well. So first time, I've, first chance I've had to get out with the dog for over a month, probably nearly a month and a half now. So yeah, I thought I'd come down and do a little bit of filming. I did do some filming while I was out there actually. I did a, I managed to do a wild camp in the Netherlands. So if you're interested in how that went, I'll uh, put a card on screen sort of now-ish. So I've come down here today to talk about the, the rule of threes. Now, the rule of threes is a, it's a survivalist type thing, but it's, um, it's used to help prioritize uh, sort of tasks and activities that need to be done in a survival situation now it's not a survival channel i don't want it to be i don't pretend to be but you go while camping you're going to put yourself in a position that's sort of out of the ordinary that is potentially dangerous and and some of the concepts some of the some of the things that survivors talk about absolutely uh, come into play when you're out while camping and the rule of threes is one of them now i'm coming at it from two slightly different angles first of all if you do find yourself in a precarious situation, why are they useful? And secondly, when you're thinking about planning for a, for a wild camp, some of the things that you should be thinking about um, in the back of your mind, the rule of threes is quite useful for that as well. So I'll, uh, I'll come back once I've found a spot to do it. A nice little quiet spot to record. I don't think I'm gonna find quiet spots. There's a shoot going on. There you go. So the rule of threes should help you prioritise uh, actions you need to take in a, in a given situation. Um, but you can also extend it uh, to help you uh, plan uh, what you need to take with you. So people say to me, you know, oh, how did you get started? What should you take with you? And if you sort of think about the rule of threes, it'll give you a good indication of, of, of what you need to do uh, and the type of things you need to, to, to take with you. The rule of threes lets you prioritise by using time. So um, the first three in the rule of threes is minutes. You've got about three minutes if you can't breathe, okay? So in a, in a situation, the first thing you need to check, check is actually that, that your oxygen's fine, you can breathe. Um, if, if you're with other people, can they breathe? Because you've got about three minutes. It is your first priority in any given situation where, where there's a danger. The first thing to check is, can you breathe? Now you can take that a bit further. Um, so what I've done when we're talking about planning is I've got my first aid kit here. So the first priority when I'm thinking about what I'm taking with me is to make sure I can stay healthy. Um, first aid has its own priorities. I think, uh, and I think breathing still comes top of that. So when you're assessing a casualty, they use, I think it's ABC, uh, airway, 
bleeding circulation. Mm -hmm. So are they breathing? Are they uh, bleeding? Is their heart still pumping? Because if you don't check it in that priority, it, it, it's all very well looking for a pulse, but if they're not breathing, they're going to die. Um, so the first priority, are people breathing? Stay healthy. When you're planning on a trip, make sure you've got your first aid kit. And your first aid kit is, um, it, it, it's your first aid kit. It has things in it to keep you fit and healthy. That doesn't mean that you can't share stuff and you can't use things, things like um, bandages and uh, plasters and things like that. Uh, you share and share alike. But there are things in here that are very, very specific to me. Silly things like indigestion tablets. Yeah, Lots of little plasters because I'm always cutting my hands when I'm out. So that's priority number one. First rule in the rule of threes, three minutes without breathing. Look after your health, stay fit. Hello, mate. <laughs> Give me fun. You find any squirrels? So what's the next priority? Um, so we've made sure that we're all fit and healthy and everybody's breathing. The next priority in, in, the, um, in the rule of threes, and certainly the next thing you should be thinking about when you're planning a trip, is, um, is three hours. So exposure will kill you, or can kill you, within three hours. You're wet, you're cold, you're on the side of a mountain in, in blistery or bl uh, um, blizzard conditions, you've got about three hours. So the next rule in the rule of three, or the next priority, according to the rule of threes, is shelter. And I brought my basher to demonstrate that. Um, obviously, this is gonna give me shelter from the elements in a variety of ways. I can just drape it over me, I can wrap it around me, I can put it on the floor to keep me off the ground. Um, and and that, that's the sort of second priority in the rule of threes. Um, but again, take it to the larger, uh, take, take, take it to the planning. And what we're really looking at is, is protecting ourselves from the elements. So we've made sure that our health is good. In our planning now, we need to make sure that we're protected from the elements. Now that might mean uh, making sure you've got the right clothing, uh, making sure you've got the right sleeping bag, tents, obviously, and, and bashers, that kind of thing. Um, but protection from the elements is key. And in a survival situation, it's the second highest priority after being able to breathe, is to, is to get out of the elements and make sure that that's not gonna kill you, because it's gonna kill you quickly. Um, then actually comes the, the some, a priority that people seem to worry about and they, they, they all go rushing around for it. And it is, the next three is days. And it's three days without water. So, represent now, I bring my water filter with me, yeah. Now this, this works in two ways, this does. So, so, yes, it is the third priority. Yes, you, you've got about three days before lack of water is gonna have a serious effect and, and start being um, a danger to your health. So how does that help when you're planning? Well, the thing is, people do worry about, about the water they're taking with them, but if you're going on an overnighter, um, even if you, if, you, if you got there and you realized you had no water, it's not actually that drastic. I mean, give, okay, if you've been working hard and you're sweating heavily and all the rest of it, you, you, you may be at a danger of dehydration. But it, it's not gonna be that drastic from that point of view. Um, taking a liter of water with you, it, it, yeah, it might not be enough for cooking and all the rest of it, so, you, so you're gonna go hungry or you are gonna get thirsty, but it, it's not as bad as it seems. But it also works the other way. Um, if you are in a situation where you know it's gonna be more than three days, and I hope you never are, and you're out of water, it, it's time to stop think. it's time to stop worrying about how pure that water is. Um, so if you've got flowing water there, I, I personally don't drink water without putting it through my filter first. Um, regardless of what the source is, sorry, out in the wild, regardless of what the source is, <clears throat> just because that, that, that one in a thousand chance that, you know, I'm gonna get a bit of crypto or, um, or something like that and, and end up with the shits, which is gonna, you know, worsen the dehydration anyway. But if you get to the point where you know it's gonna be more than three days, drink the water, the chances are that dehydration will kill you before whatever's in the water um, gets to you. So again, yeah, so that's priority number three. Three days, uh, you, you're fine without water. And then last, the last priority really in the rule of threes is food. So again, I just brought a little bit of a ration pack just to illustrate that. Um, so yeah, three weeks you'll go without eating uh, bef before it'll have a really serious life-threatening um, effect on you. Hello, mate. I don't think you'd go three weeks, would you? No. Okay. 
So, um, so it's the last priority really. And when you think about planning a trip, generally, if, if you look at somebody's um, rucksack that they're wearing, great big 60, 70, 80 litre rucksacks, the majority of, of that is filled um, to ensure that priority two is met. So getting you out of the elements, uh, it'll be the sleeping bags, the, the, the down jackets, the extra clothes. Um, the first aid kit, which is priority number one really, uh, just doesn't take up much space anyway. Um, I, I wouldn't suggest that, that this should take up more space. The shelter takes up the most space, um, getting you out of the elements. And then we've got, like I say, water and food. We've got about three minutes if we can't breathe. We may have three hours if we're exposed to the elements. You've got a good three days before you need to really, really worry about the water. And you've got three weeks with, to, before you really need to worry about the food. That's not to say that you shouldn't take a lot of water with you or a lot of food with you. You know, I mean, the whole point about being outdoors is, is it's, it, this isn't a survival channel, so it's not about putting yourself through the ringer. It's about challenging yourself, certainly. Um, but it's about enjoying the outside. And if you just keep the rule of threes in the back of your mind, make sure you've got what you need to, to be comfortable, to be safe. Um, you can you can enjoy it then, but also knowing that actually, you know what? It's, it's not that drastic. If, you, if, you, if you've got a two-hour walk to the car and you're thirsty and you've run out of water, it's not it's not that drastic. It really isn't. You, you, you're not going to die from that. Um, so yeah, uh, thanks for joining me. I uh, hope the information was useful to you. Is it deer? A lot of deer trails around here so I was hoping to bump into some. Um, yeah I hope the information was useful to you. This has only been a short video. Um, yeah uh, let me know what you think. Comments please. Likes always help the channel grow. If you're new to the channel please go and check out my other videos. Uh, subscriptions are free this week so um, they'd be really useful and they really help me. So please like, subscribe and, uh, and I'll keep doing them and I'll see you on the next one. Bye!